creator, but I'm a savior. I take the strange variables of human life and make something out of a crazy quilt that saves hundreds of lives. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? It's me, Warren. Here again with another quick little video. Um, like, subscribe, share the videos. Also, check out my books on Amazon. So let's let's get into this video. I'll waste no more time. So um, you read the title. So this is the number one thing your ex want from you. After all of this time, even if you have kids with them, the number one thing they want from you is your attention. Surprise, surprise. They want you to put them first, no matter what situation you got going on in your life. You can be like, for example, like, hey, my mama sick in the hospital. You know, my child, you know, got to stay in the hospital overnight. They be like, what they got to do with me? See, they only want what they want. They like big children, like big kids. They only put their own. They only care about their self-interest only. That's it. So you can't reason with these type people. You can't reason with them. You can't compromise with them. Don't even try to do none of that stuff. See, the thing what they hate the most is indifference. Indifference. When you act like you don't care, you nonchalant to them, and you using the gray rock method and going on about your life and you, you know putting God first in your life and you achieving your goals and getting things done. See, they don't like that. The reason they don't like that is because you're not thinking about them. They're not the center of our attention. This goes for your ex, your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever. Just fill in the blank. The ex in the title is for you to fill, it, fill in the blank. Like I said before, I normally just put ex in the title because that's how I started off with exes. But the thing is, this go across the board. This go for everybody. So the thing is, once you separate from this person, stay in no contact. Don't argue with these people. Always work on yourself. Stay out of your emotions. Remember, your emotions is your greatest enemy. Your emotions will make your mind play tricks on you. Your emotions will tell you all these false things telling you that this person in question change. They don't change. What you see is what you get. Now, if they jump out of a relationship with you and go into another off-brand relationship with someone else and your emotions getting the best of you and you start getting curious and want to know why is your, your past lover, keyword I say past love or past tense, is treating this other person better, just remember you and your emotions. Yeah, just remember you had your time with this person. Your time is up. You can't handcuff this person. You got to let them be. You know, like I said before, you know, you two, you two be tripping, but I guarantee you, you ain't never seen a UFO or fill in the blank that won't go. You know, just think about it. Let them people be, you know, work on yourself. You know, um, controlling your emotions is very important. Stay grounded in reality. Let them be. But the thing is, dealing with certain kind of people, they don't care. They'll do whatever it takes to get your attention because they expect to be first. They expect to see, they expect to be the sun in your universe. That's how they look at it. They're the sun in your universe. So don't give them no attention. But this is another little short video getting straight to the point. And to the people that are out there that always say, well, these videos are not for me, Warren, because I have kids. Stop making excuses for you to, you know, for you to be watching, stalking and trying to hold on to that person just because you got kids. Understand, you are the only person who cares about your kids. Certain people don't care nothing about no kids because they know deep down inside all they have to offer sex time and kids. They don't care nothing about the kids that you have with them. They don't care. They want you. They want you and the kids to focus on whoever the person that you fill in the blank, whoever your ex is. 
that's what they really want. I know a lot of people. I mean, if they if a certain group of people realize the things I was saying, they'll bash me too. I understand. So that's why I leave it neutral. But with that being said, if you need to get in contact with me, check me out. Just send me an email. Tell me your story, what's going on. Or you can text me on WhatsApp. The number is here on the page. Um, If you don't want to do that, check out my all my books on Amazon. Just go to Amazon and put in Warm and Fat and Books. You know, they'll pop up. And, uh, um, and another thing, too, before I get out of here, I want you to stay prayed up. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. I want you to stay prayed up. This world is balanced. The things is like the evil stuff, the stuff that's very evil, abominations and all that type of stuff. That's the normal nowadays. Stay prayed up. Ain't no telling when your last moment might be. Just make sure you in the clip and live life to the fullest the best way you can. Now, with that being said, peace.